Why, hello there. Today, we are gonna talk about Our Wives Under the Sea by Julia Armfield. And this book is a fiction novel, but it also has elements of horror, but it's not a scary horror. This would be horror for people who don't really like horror. It's a story of remembrance. It's a story of a relationship. The story of Leah and Mary how they met and their lives together before and after Leah, who was a marine biologist, went under the sea on a some sort of scientific expedition that her and her team were taking part in and they were supposed to be gone for about three weeks but then were down under for months her wife who was waiting at home expected her back in about three weeks the place that leo worked for was kind of given miri her wife the runaround and what happens when leah finally returns from underneath the deep dark of the sea and how she doesn't seem like maybe she came back when she returns home. So it's a story of the remembrances of their relationship together. It's a story of the past and the present. And it flips between the characters from Miri's point of view and her memories as she's replaying things in her head about remembering the good times in the relationship and the bad. And then you have the chapters with Leah. And as you slowly go throughout the book, you find out what happened to her when she was down there and what happened when they were supposed to come back in three weeks and then uh, what went wrong and, and what happened. And it was such a really fantastic book looking at their relationship. Like the memories, some are sweet, some are salty, some are endearing. It's haunting and it's a strange tale. I love stories that have some sort of strange underwater elements. Any kind of underwater story grabs my interest because for some reason I've always loved stories that have to do with under the ocean. Cause the ocean, it's like outer space on earth. There's so much weird, creepy and unknown stuff down there that we don't even know about. So it fascinates me. It's a horror all onto itself. <laughs> it's a look at the clockwork of their relationship, the ins and the outs, the highs and the lows. Remembering what things were like in the beginning when they first met and from there till now. And the weird stuff and habits that Leah starts having when she comes back. How everything comes to a head and what happens. And it's a really sad and sweet story. Chilling, strange, creepy, and sad. The writing was very beautiful. One of the first lines in the book, I'd like to read that. I really liked it. And it kind of like sets the stage for how the writing will go. The deep sea is a haunted house, a place in which things that ought not to exist move about in the darkness. It's just a little hint of what's to come if you read this book. Really fantastic. I really like the characters having the glimpse into the relationship before and then in the current times and then seeing also what happened to Leah and the people that she was down under the sea with, just how people handled it and the isolation of everything and you know, trying not to lose your mind and freak out when stuff goes wrong and how it's all handled. If you are not the biggest horror fan, I feel like this is a good horror book for people that don't necessarily like horror, but also like getting into the structure of people's relationships, just how stuff goes, like from the initial adoration of when you first meet a person and fall in love until like into what the relationship is current times and then what happens when weird tragedy strikes. So if you like books that are of a strange sort, the next video coming up will be about another strange book. So stick around, check it out. And if you had fun hanging out today, hit that subscribe button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.